Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I'm gonna to talk about some of my dedicated tools. And I'm curious what yours are, so you could share with us in the comments section what you've ended up making dedicated tools for. Um, and what I mean by a dedicated tool is that it lives its life like this. That doesn't, it's not stored in the toolbox or doesn't have any friends around other tools. It's, it's just, that's it. And usually it's hanging on a nail or it's in a drawer or part of the car or something like that. And it's, it's function is so specialized that um, I often will get the components, sometimes even snap-on, um, and it just lives for a, a singular job. Um, of course, you can use it for something else, um, but since I need it for a specific thing so often, I get the dedicated tool and then it lives near that job. So here are a few of mine. Um, obviously, this is an oil filter uh, wrench up here. It's on a long um, extension and on a Craftsman 3/8 socket. I like for a lot of the uh, or 3 ratchet for a lot of these. I like the push button just because they end up staying. I'm not, you know, that's what I want it to do. Um, and this thing lives in a particular spot in the garage, and that's all it ever does. And the poor guy, it only gets to go in reverse. I never use the, uh, you know, this this lever switched because I don't put the filters on with this, just take them off, um, but that's it. And uh, to me, it's worth its weight in gold just sitting there always ready to go. I don't have to assemble it out of my toolbox. Um, along that same lines, Craftsman USA made push button. This is the 14 millimeter for the oil uh, drain plugs on Toyotas. Um, and so this one lives in the garage, always handy, always ready to go. That's its entire life. However, this one does get to spend a little time going forward and backward. Um, this is a, let's see, I'll go to this three quarter first. I've got a, uh, an attachment on a trailer hitch uh, or a hitch, a two inch receiver that's holding a bike rack. And the attachment basically, um, or kind of an accessory is a clamp that grabs both the receiver hitch and the um, the implement that you stick in to the receiver and kind of locks it in place because it was rattling around. Um, but I've got three quarter inch bolts or nuts on the uh, the U bolt that's part of that um, accessory, and I have to keep them tight. Um, even though they have lock washers, because it's rattling around with all this weight on it, it does tend to loosen. So this thing rides. Um, in that particular vehicle, um, and about every time I'd get gas or something, I'd step out and and throw this on and crank those bolts back down. Um, unfortunately, there's not enough room for an extra nut, um, but that's what I might do in the future. But that's what it's for. Along that same line, you just snap on three fourths and five eighths, and it turns out that some tie downs on a slide-in camper I have um, use three fourths a three quarter inch on the um, the uh, compressions and and five eighths on the chain uh, connector that that ties it to the truck frame um, and I looked up I needed either a, a three fourths and a five eighths wrench that's actually where I started but then I googled I think it was snap on three fourths and five eighths and found out that they do actually make such a thing and so I jumped on eBay and sure enough there it was um, for a decent price. Um, so this thing actually lives in the side pocket of the back seat on the left side of my Toyota Tacoma pickup, because that's what we put the slide-in camper in. And the reason I put it there is because the gas cap is on, or the gas um, input is on the uh, left side, um, right by that back door. And every time I get gas, I would grab this wrench, you know, when we're on a, on a overlanding trip or something, and double check all my tie downs while I'm filling the tank with gas. So that's why that wrench is there. Um, this one is 15 millimeter. It's a thin profile snap-on, um, is for mostly bike pedals because the, uh, the spindle on bike pedals, you usually get like maybe either a six or an eight um, there, but also the spindle is a 15 millimeter, but you can't put a thick 15 millimeter on there. I mean, you can sometimes pound them in if you have to, but you can see that, that that doesn't fit. So you can get dedicated pedal wrenches, and I have one of those, but I always like using snap-ons. 
Um, so here it is. You can see that that actually works. So this actually lives with some of my bicycle stuff when I'm on the road or out. Um, and it's a pedal wrench. That's its only purpose in life. Um, Here's my lug nut wrench, this particular guy. It's a 24 inch snap-on breaker bar, kind of overkill you might think for lug nuts, um, but I wanted something I could count on. Yes, I could easily use this for something else, but it lives in this configuration for Toyota um, 4Runner and Tacoma lug nuts. Um, and so I've got the, uh, the socket that I like, I've got the adapter I like that's locking, and I just leave it on this. And if I ever need it, I know where it is, but it ends up living in the garage for that sole purpose. Um, this is the one that I used to use before I got this. Um, this is just a three quarter inch socket um, on a uh, another one of these USA made Craftsman um, ratchets. Really sloppy work, plastic. But anyway, so I would just use that and tighten up the bolts. But then I got this one, I like it better. And I've got other ratchets laying around, like this one here. I'm not too big a fan on this. I've tried to use it and it tends to move a lot. But I keep these uh, simply because I know I'll set up another dedicated tool. So sometime I might want, you know, a, maybe a, uh, that's half inch, um, a different sized, um, see like that, ratchet on, uh, or a socket on a ratchet for a very particular purpose. You know, I'm not a big fan of this design, but I'll keep it around for that one one thing, and then it just lives life like that. So I'm curious what your dedicated tools are. What do you have that's uh, specialized that you go out and get that exact tool for that exact fastener, um, and then it lives with, with you in a particular place, or it lives with the fastener. You don't put it somewhere else. I used to carry these like on a carabiner, and I'd have them, um, you know, 15. This one actually... Um, I carried with a, um, a couple of old bikes that I have, including an old tandem, because 15 millimeter was a standard nut um, for wheel axles. Um, so I'd always have just that handy. And I don't mind, you know, spending on eBay, you know, or secondhand store, you know, 15, 20 bucks for a uh, particular um, snap-on wrench that then lives in a particular place for just one purpose. But anyway, those are some of my dedicated tools, and I'm curious what yours are, so let me know. And with that, Doc out.